Donia 217 is developed from the DO 17Z, but she's a bigger addition. Faster, with a heavier armament and heavier bomb load, too. One of the first Germans with power operated gun turret, she can be used for torpedo dropping, mine laying, reconnaissance, or high level and dive bombing. For the last, she can be fitted with a new type of dive brake, contained in the tip of the fuselage and opening out like an umbrella behind the tail plane. This can be jettisoned when she's in a hurry. Let's watch her as she goes around and about. High wing with very large underslung radial engines which show at once. Glazed bulbous nose like her predecessor, but those engine nacelles project beyond the trailing edge. The old Dornier wing plan, but no longer smoothed into the fuselage. And now that pointed fuselage projecting well beyond the tail unit, which has twin fins and rudders. Cockpit position and shape, and straight top to fuselage, like her predecessor, the DO-17Z. But glazed nose more rounded. A much heavier fuselage, with only slight break to underside for rear gun position. Angular fins and rudders, with the fuselage projecting beyond. The later versions have a power-operated gun turret on top of the fuselage. A new feature of the German bombers. The Bosch is learning from us. But remember, you still see DO-217s with no turret. Dead on view of a deadly enemy. Yes, Dornier by high flat wing, thick at roots, and everything hanging down. But Donia 217, because of the length of its engine nacelles. Take a good look at that heavy glazed nose. They still keep the crew up front. The heaviness of the fuselage becomes apparent in this view, and the way those engines break the trailing edge. Yes, definitely Dornier 217. Once more, the stubby Dornier wing with well-rounded tips. But Dornier 217 because the wing is not smoothed into the fuselage. In fact, no fillets. High angular tail unit and That most outstanding feature of the DO-217, the protruding fuselage tip, which is even longer if it contains dive brakes. See how she differs from the 17Z from which she's developed. The 217 has longer engines with projecting nacelles, smoother nose, more bulky fuselage, no fillets at wing roots, and fuselage projects beyond tailplane. Clear? Here's the 217 alone again. In flight, remember those differences from the early Dorniers, and don't forget you may see bombs or other underslung blobs hanging down below the wing. But don't let that fox you. The DO's just carrying a little extra for someone, if she ever gets there. Long, underslung engine nacelles. You ought to know that by now. Now a bit more detail. Long nose, leading the engines, the familiar wing plan, but not smoothed into the fuselage. Fuselage tapering to a point beyond the tail plane. Incidentally, that tail plane is slimmer than the old Dornier's.
High flat wing with everything hanging down, underslung engines breaking the trailing edge, the long fuselage tapering to a point beyond the tail plane with its twin fins. It's a Dornier 217 and a deadly enemy. Make it a dead enemy. <laughs>